Hey here, fellas. I picked up this at a retro game type place. Uh, I just turned the light on and now there's glare on it. We're just going to have to deal with it because I'm not very good at doing these types of videos. This is a little uh, magazine type disc that I just press space bar. A magazine. I accidentally just started Counter Strike. <laughs> Pressing space with a game selected on Steam starts it. I did not know that. T-I-L, I guess. Fuck's sake! This is hard. Let's put the camera over here, perhaps. Drink my coffee out of frustration. Hey, you fellas. Today we're going to try something a little bit different. I picked up this disc here at a retro game sort of shop. Uh, it is more than 1,000 maps for Counter-Strike by uh, Mods and Maps, apparently. There's a little... A little URL. This is something that would sort of be bundled with a magazine. It is a CD, I believe. Uh, cost one pound. And uh, on the back, uh, we have a bunch of different languages for some reason. I'm assuming this maybe this wasn't a magazine because this has been published in a lot of different countries. Um, the standard Counter Strike maps are really great, but in the long run, a little monotonous. Therefore, we have put together a mega collection with no fewer than 1,000 as, sus, de, pa, and as maps for the internet, from the internet. So, let's see. Um, CS is Hostage Rescue. AS is, is there a game mode called Assault? D is Diffuse. PA is Phantom Assassin. And ES is Espanol. Each map can be installed and then removed again by the means of a simple click with the help of the map installer. Now you will have no problems anymore if you want to play on custom map servers but you cannot find the maps or add a little variety to your next LAN party. Every map has been tested by us, provided with a screenshot and given a mark. Let's look at the specs because these, these amused me and are what made me pick it up. Um, I think that's in focus. I cannot see anything without my glasses on. I have to actually like look at the box. IBM PC and compatibles. So this was published, I guess, for an IBM PC in 95, maybe? Um, Windows 9X ME 2K Pentium. Ah, I can hold a box. Pentium slash AMD CPU. Uh, 16 megabytes of RAM, CD-ROM. That's actually going to be a problem. I... Only, ha only my laptop, I think, is capable of running CDs. So, uh, this is going to make installing this kind of interesting. Uh, SVGA, 640x480, 16 bit and a mouse. Oh, so 16 bit, 16 bit 640x480 and a mouse. Uh, Counter Strike already installed as a standalone or an add on. Okay, I have the Steam version. Um, I do also have Counter Strike 1.1. Uh, on a CD, which I think I featured in a previous video. I am not certain though. No, I'm not sure what video it would have been. Um, inside the box, we have CD. It's got an A on it. Is there more than one? Oh, there's two. There's a little two here. I don't know if you can see that all that well. We've got another disc with the exact same picture on it, only a B. Uh, what's the disc like? Looks pretty good. Oh, you can see my face and my camera. That is a sign of quality. For fuck's sake! Ugh. CD looks good. You can see the camera and my face. That is a, a sign of quality right there. Is it stamped? It is stamped. Look at that. Can you see that at all? Yes, just about. It is in fact stamped. Let's take a look. The manual, shall we? Does this count as an unboxing? It might count as an unboxing, I don't know. Mods and maps, what is inside? Oh, many different languages. Thank you for deciding to buy this product. I don't feel like this was originally an English release. Just that sentence doesn't strike me as native English. There are more than 1,000 maps for Counter-Strike, but before you can use them in your game, you should have Counter-Strike already installed as a standalone or an add-on. If there were any accompanying text to the maps, we have left them in their original state. Some authors did not want to have their maps included on the CD, and so these maps have been sorted out. This product does not set out to reap the benefits of other people's works, but wishes to give them 
which is to give these really good custom maps a chance to reach the broad the broad mass of the population under www.modsandmaps.com uh, http that is uh, hyper text transfer protocol i want to say should know that um modsandmaps.com uh, Bonus maps can be found which, on legal grounds, and for reasons given above, cannot be included on the CD. Okay, so there's more. I wonder if that domain still exists. Shall we have a look? Well, as you can probably see by the white screen on my right, it looks like it doesn't. That's unfortunate. We can't see what additional maps there are. They're probably flying around the internet somewhere. Uh, DVD-ROM version, or the CD-ROM. I believe we have the, yeah, we have the CD-ROM version because it's on two discs. Um, yeah, it's just about installing them. C slash game slash Half Life, and not the directory C Strike. Ha! Huh. It's interesting. Cap Strike Path. Uh, so now to try and install this. This is yeah, like I say, this is going to be interesting, as I have the Steam version. I do not have my disc version of Counter Strike 1.1 uh, handy because that's the Half Life mod version, which is I believe what this is aimed for. I also, if I do end up using Counter-Strike 1.1, I can't run it on Windows, but this is the only computer I have that runs Windows. There is another one over there, which is what that keyboard and mouse are to, which runs Ubuntu and has wine on it. And I'm pretty sure I will be able to install 1.1 on that. Uh, did I say using wine? If I didn't, I'm going to use wine and uh, do it that way. But anyway, there. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, take a look at what's on the disc, shall we? Okay. We have uh, a laptop. Sick SSD boot times. System problem detected already. Good start. How many were detected? Two, apparently. Okay. Disc. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Well, the disk is readable. That is a good start. Now, what we want to do is we want to create an ISO of it. I don't actually know how to do that. <laughs> I typed an ISO and I got disk, so let's see. Let's take the disk drive. Uh, great disk image. Hey, there we go. Disk query noises of ISO creation. I'm going to have another sip of my coffee. Cool. So while that's doing, let's talk briefly about how I'm going to install this. So my option number one is Steam on this computer here, um, which is the one I normally use for all my recording video makey stuff. Um, yeah, I can try and install store it on Counter Strike 1.6 on Steam. Uh, don't think that's going to work. Might work. Probably won't work. Um, my second plan is this is running Ubuntu, as you can see. Ubuntu. This is running Unity, actually, I've just realised. Why is this running Unity? I never use Unity. That one over there is running GNOME and is a bit more powerful than this. Uh, a little bit. Um, so, my next plan is to use Wine to install it on. There, which is how I played uh, Half-Life before I had Windows on a computer. Uh, and my third option, and perhaps the most fun but most time-consuming one, is to install Windows 98 on another computer I have, which is down there somewhere. Uh, so I'll have to whip that out. And uh, I do actually have some CDs, so I may be able to get... Um, Windows 98 is abandonware at this point, so I can just download it off of an abandonware site and uh, install it on another laptop. We're nearly done! Ding! That is reassuring. Another system problem? I'm curious as to what those are. Some stuff failed to download. Huh. There's something up there. I need to fix that, whatever that is. Anyway, we have our ISO. 
Now, how are we going to transfer that to uh, to this computer? Well, uh, I don't know. FTP, I guess? Or, uh, actually, no. I have a better method. We have the technology. These exist. Let's, uh, if I can plug it in. Plunk one of them in the side. I have no idea what's on this. Uh, Ubuntu Gnome. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, oh, I hope this is, oh, it's probably Fat Fate 2, isn't it? It's probably fine. So we're just going to copy one across, see if it works. See if my blazing fast uh, USB stick is going to do anything at all. There we go. Okay. Are you done? Cool, you're done. Stop flashing. Eject. Boing. Then let us plug it in to... Yeah. Do I have a free USB port anywhere? Alright then, I'm doing this properly with proper desktop capture and stuff. So, we have our ISO. Now I apologise, I'm recording this on a 4K monitor and outputting at 1080p because my camera's only 1080p. So you're not going to be able to see shit. I didn't think this through. But trust me, the ISO is there. And we want to mount this, don't we? That is the thing we want to do. So we'll right click to mount it. It is mounted. Uh, start.exe Hey, it starts. I'm get I, I can't move it. It is stuck to that bit of the screen. Hang on a second. Uh, through the power of technology, I am going to do, 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 zoom in on that bit. So hopefully you can actually see what's going on. Right. CS maps. D map. Please change the C. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have the other seat. God damn it. Go away. Do, 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 do. Broken it already. Okay, let's try that again. Right, CS maps. Uh, what does Count Strike do? Install maps in your CS. Right, fair enough. CS maps. Cool. Uh, choose your HL or CS directory. Cool. So we will go C home software. Uh, Steam. Steam apps. Common. Uh, Counter Strike source, Counter Strike global offensive. Neither of those. It's in half right, it's in Half Life. Uh, choose your Half Life or. CS directory. Hang on. I'm going to open the manual quickly. What did it say about this bit? It said something about not using the CS directory. Ah, when the program is started, it will try to find an installed version of Counter Strike or Half Life with CS mod. If the path is not correct, A click on the small yellow folder symbol will enable you to select the path yourself. A click on the small yellow folder symbol will enable you to select the path yourself. Right, I can't read. Uh, please remember to select the main directory, e.g. C slash games slash Counter-Strike or C slash games slash Half-Life and not the directory C strike. Okay, so it wants us to select this. Cool. Now, uh, let's see if there is a map I recognize from this list. I'm immediately going to look for... Uh, okay, Frost isn't on there. What does one pick? Let's, Mercury sounds interesting. Where's, where's Mercury? Cool. Five stars for Mercury. What, what does this do? MP. Ah, install. 100%. Okay, well, that, that seemed to work better than I expected. Let's uh, let's try and run Counter Strike, I guess. D Mercury, much to my disappointment, had nothing to do with either the planet nor the metal, uh, but it is a kind of dusty sort of themed map. I'm not really sure where the name comes from on this one. 
Also, uh, got a bit of an Italy theme in the market area. I kind of, I kind of dig that. This map really doesn't have too much that's new that hasn't been seen before in Counter Strike maps. I was kind of underwhelmed a little bit, considering it had a five star review on the disc thing. I was expecting it to have a little bit more variety, but uh, despite that, it is a pretty well designed map, despite a couple of uh, a couple of bugs here and there in the in terms of the gameplay. For example, there was a roof that you had to crouch to get under you kind of stand on the roof and you have to crouch to get under another lip of a roof over the top but overall this map this map's kind of cool just not not very original in terms of camp strike maps it's pretty similar to what you've seen before but a cool map so i did the um i ripped the second disc to have a look at that uh, it did have errors though. It had errors when ripping, despite the fact the disc looks fine. Uh, I don't have another disc drive handy, or I do have another disc drive, but it's not plugged in uh, to try and get a successful rip. But this has, I don't know what WADs are. Hmm. Aztec, that's good map. Oh, we can install Aztec. Let's install Aztec. Bollocks. Okay, so that might be that might be the uh, problem that we had. The Alice is that? Oh, enough to do about in Wonderland. Um. So now I've actually put the D maps on. Let's have a look and see if Frost is on hit Frost or something. Like D France. Is that what France looks like? I don't know. If that's what France looks like. I need to pick my directory again, don't I? Uh, who software? Um, steam steam yeah, there's steam steam apps common half life cool the flat out nothing to do with the game flat out I want the five star one no, that one is called Fernandez which is a cool name the fallout I wonder if that I like Fallout. Let's see if it's Fallout themed. It's installed. Will you successfully install? Okay, that one appeared to successfully install. The Fallout was the only map I looked at that was a diffuse map, the now very uh, very popular default standard type of game mode for Counter-Strike. Uh, this map had some interesting things again going on with the lighting. There were lots of pretty coloured lights. There was a flashing light that you saw there at the start. Uh, something that you can't actually do in Global Offensive. It doesn't quite work properly. Although you can have a flashing light, but it bugs out in the light map and uh, produces some weird blotchy effect and screws up the lighting for the entire level. So that's why you don't see any sort of blinking or flashing lights. They are all solid or off. Uh, the thing I found most interesting about this map is the use of translucent water. Not something I've ever seen before in a Counter-Strike map or in a uh, source map, uh, gold source map. Uh, of any description. I didn't know it could do transparent water. I thought that was beyond it. Um, but apparently no, apparently it is, it is possible clearly because this map does it. Yeah, it's a pretty nice feature and not something I've seen on a Counter-Strike map, a Counter-Strike 1.6 or earlier map. Um, so, so that's pretty nifty. Uh, I kind of thought that this was going to be themed around Fallout 1 or 2, um, as I guess that would have been yeah, I don't think there were... Maybe Brotherhood of Steel was out at that point? Uh, Tactics was as well, Fallout Tactics, but I kind of lumped that in with one and two. I kind of thought it'd be themed around that. Uh, I have played not very much of Fallout 2, but I don't really recognise this uh, from any of those games, so I think this is just sort of kind of inspired by the setting to some degree. There are a few uh, signs around that look, look kind of Fallout-esque, but ultimately this is just sort of a post-apocalyptic generic map um, with just sort of nods to fall out here and there. Uh, but it's it's a pretty cool diffusal map, although a very confusing layout, as you can probably tell. I was getting very lost while flying around this map, despite the fact that this was my third run of doing it. So let's take a look at this map. This is AS Rising Sun, which is an assassination map. Assassination, of course, a game mode that was removed from later Counter-Strike, so I thought we'd take a look at this because it's kind of interesting. You'll have to forgive my shoddy camera work. I got a little bit confused about where I could and couldn't go on this map. Uh, and also the map's quite small, which makes flyovers a little bit difficult, even if I did know what I was doing. 
So the thing I really liked about this map is that it had some really nice lighting effects on it. It's got some cool kind of yellows and reds, uh, some Chinese lanterns that emit a nice little glow, and uh, it's just a very, it makes it the map feel very warm. Um, the skybox as well goes quite nicely with the with the colours uh, on on the map, and yeah, it's just a very nicely lit, nicely designed map. Given that there is no version of Assassination in the later games, at least to my knowledge, there might be a custom uh, game mode or something that re-adds it to Source, but I don't think these uh, many Assassination maps were remade for later versions. It would be kind of cool to see this turned into a Diffuse map, I think. Uh, maybe that's something for a future video. But overall, this was probably my favourite map of the three we looked at in terms of its design. Of course, one thing it was missing was the translucent water that we saw on Fallout, which I'm very confused as to why I've never seen that before um, in in this engine but you know it, it's cool it has water it, it looks it looks cool um, yeah I, I like this map well I don't know about you but I think for a pound you could do a hell of a lot worse got a bit of counter-strike history here uh, I quite enjoyed looking through this uh, I will try and plonk the ISOs on Dropbox that I created uh, at least the first one the second one's a bit buggy but if I can re uh, if I can redo it, I have another disk drive down there um, that may be able, maybe I'll have a slightly better luck with. But yeah, if I can, uh, if I can share the ISOs with you, I will. So I'm not sure if many of these maps are available. Like I say, the website was down, and uh, a website that we looked at um, advertised somewhere else. I'm not sure if I did that on camera or not, but I did look at another website that was on one of the uh, on one of the maps and that was down as well so uh, some of these maps might not be available and it's kind of cool i'm not sure how rare this is uh, i haven't looked it up on ebay or anything you might be able to find this disc but if not uh, i will yeah i will share it with you and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this this was a little bit different um let me know what you think of this i know the video is quite long i'm sitting at 21 minutes before this outro uh see if i edit it down anymore but if not it's going to be about 23 minutes long probably so hopefully um Hopefully you guys don't mind that. A few of you asked for slightly slightly longer videos um, a while ago because I was making the video steadily shorter. Uh, this particular video is kind of a precursor to something I said I was going to do ages ago and uh, still haven't done. Uh, I'll explain briefly why that is now. Um, so a while ago I said I was going to create a map on stream. Uh, I was going to do a whole map and then upload it to YouTube as a series uh, to follow on the How Not To Make A CSGO Map series. The reason I didn't do that is because I got this uh, big ass monitor here. Uh, it's 4K monitor which uh, which makes editing um, very, very much easier than it uh, than it used to be because I have a lot of screen space and it makes making maps a lot easier as well. The big downside is that it's really difficult to find a way to stream that uh, in such a way that you can actually see what's happening uh, because most people aren't going to be able to stream 4K, I realise. So uh, I want to downscale it to 1080p. Uh, but then there is the issue that you can't read anything or really see what I'm doing. So uh, I haven't exactly figured out a solution. I've kind of got an idea of flipping scenes. So what I'll do is I'll have on my numpad uh, buttons assigned to each of the four ports on the screen and if I'm doing something up there say I will make that one big uh, so that takes up the whole screen and you can see what's happening it's not ideal but I'm not sure how else to do it so um yeah I'm working on that but uh hopefully you'll you'll see that soon as soon as I work out a solution and uh, we can make a map and maybe we'll take a look at some more of these uh to uh, to get some inspiration if you'd like me to do any more on this look at some hey, maps in particular or uh, or maybe just do more stuff in the style of this um like uh reviewing the maps i sort of did mini reviews in this then um then yeah let me know let me know where you where you want me to go with it. or if you thought that this was just total bollocks then let me know as well I just want to try something a bit different because i feel like things have been getting a bit stale so uh hopefully you enjoyed this and i will see you next time Bye bye